Welcome back everybody to another modern nope vintage cube draft on Magic Online. Today we're gonna do a stipulation by subscriber Filk Money, uh, who said no green cards. Which is unfortunate because there is an Avenger of Zendikar in here, but I don't think that's even that great. So no green cards is what we're on right now. Second no green stipulation, but sometimes I think it's necessary, especially for me, because I tend to go pretty heavy green in these cubes. Look at these two cards. I like this for its ponder potential. I also don't... Oh, or uh, storm potential, but I also don't mind ponder is what I'm getting at here. Uh, I feel like I almost just want fiery confluence. I don't think this is like a burn cube, though. Like, there's not very many aggressive red decks. I think we we also just did a storm. I actually have no idea how you do any on the app. I'm gonna take a fiery confluence. Oh, a bane slayer angel. That is a card I would not mind. Oh, true name nemesis. Hmm. I think true name is better than bane slayer. I'm gonna take the true name and then hopefully we can uh, wheel this wandering funeral and maybe saunter into some sweet little blue red number. A time spiral. Oh. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Time spiral is better than uh, Glorybringer, I think. So I'm going to take the time spiral. And we're going to see what happens. Hmm, control magic is pretty good. So is sort of body and mind, especially with the true name nemesis. I don't think we can pass control magic, though. It's just very strong. It's a great answer for uh, really problematic creatures like Ulamog or Blightsteel Colossus or your mom. If she happens to be in this cube, so I'm going to take it. Hmm. I do like a remand. <clears throat> I do like a Pentad Prism, but I think I like remand better than Pentad Prism. I don't think I take anything else in this pack. Um, can't take any of these. Could take a wooded foothills if we get like the volcanic island that's there. I think we're just taking the remand. You know, like you do. What is the talpa? <clears throat> I haven't seen that yet. Maybe I have and I just don't remember it because it was uninspired. I'm looking right now. It's the white one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's the white one. This just reminds me of Alakir from uh, Hearthstone. We went over this in the Discord channel, actually. None of these picks are great for us. <sighs> Dismember? Hmm. Reflector Mage, also an option. Augur of Bolas, we have Time Spiral Fiery and Remand so far. I guess it could just be Augur of Bolas. Not thrilled about this pack. Not thrilled about paying four life to actually cast a Dismember either. I don't love Rift Bolt. I'm just going to take Augur here. Oh, Frost Titan is actually a very good threat. I'm a big fan of Frost Titan. Uh, I think it's underrated in this cube. I'm going to take it. Also, Elspeth Sun's champion, though? God, what do I... Is it... Do I go into white for an Elspeth Sun's champion and just be white-blue with, with a Time Spiral on deck? What if we Time Spiral, draw Elspeth, and then just play Elspeth? That seems pretty good, right? So the problem with Time Spiral is that you really don't want your opponent to have more turns after that. <laughs> you just want to end the game there. I'm going to stick with Frost Titan. I don't think we have a reason to be white here. Palancron. Also, Riftwing Cloudskate and Tundra. The blue is very open right now. Unless people are taking other blue cards that are not these, which I don't know how many blue cards can be in a pack. We just take Palancron in case we open High Tide. I think we do, which is why I did.
I'm gonna take Blade Splicer here. Oh, wow, the Bane Slayer engine came back? Hmm. All right, well. Making choices for us. Is there a white blue storm deck? <laughs> Maybe there's a tricolor storm deck. I don't think Timely Reinforcements is actually great in this cube. Like, there's no sideboard. Like I said, there's no red deck, so the sideboard is really not necessary. We can take the double white card. But I'd rather just take the Vantage in case we want to play both white and red. Okay, well, Soulfire Grandmaster it is. All right, all these cards are good. I think we're just going to be the... Uh, yeah, this is actually pretty okay for white, white, blue, I think. Time Sparkle and Palacron are a little out of place, but everything else is really good. Wow, the Reflector Mage and the Silverblade Paladin came back. That's pretty insane. Do we just go Silverblade Paladin on um, True Name Nemesis? That seems pretty cool. Take six. Or on Frost Titan or on Bane Slayer. Reflector Mage is a little easier on the mana, but... Well, nothing super exciting here, unfortunately. The most exciting card in my head is Woodfall Primus. <laughs> but alas, we are not able to take that, gentlemen. And that's fine. Sword of War and Peace is a pretty unexciting sword. Are we playing Blue White Monsters? I feel like we're out. I feel like we're in the Blue White Monsters deck right now. Frantic Search is an option. Frantic Search into Time Spiral into Palancron. Just literally free turn. I think Frantic might be better than War, Sword of War and Peace. Armageddon actually never works out for me. <laughs> I just... I don't know if it's me, but... Plus, this, this is the cube that has a ton of artifact mana. I'm just going to take the Frantic Search. Because I, I still think there's some, some Storm shenanigans that are possible here. Hmm. Geist of St. Traft, eh? That guy's pretty good. This pack is also great for us. If a Brimaz or a Core of Portal or a Dig Through Time comes back. Yeah, Course of Portal is... I'm a big fan of Course of Portal, actually. I mean, one of these cards is definitely going to table. I think I'm going to take the course of Portal, actually. I like drawing two cards a turn. And hopefully Dig or Brimaz. Maybe it's Dig. Oh, I definitely don't want to be the, the Tangle Wild Armageddon Smoke Stack deck. Because you love that kind of thing. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you acknowledging that. Good times, good times. Oh, this pack is also spicy. Dragonlord, Torrential Gear Hulk, Path to Exile, Skull Clamp. I don't think it's Skull Clamp for once. I do like Dragonlord Ojutai here. I also like Path to Exile because it gets rid of really gross things in this format. I'm going to take the Path to Exile here. If Torrential Gear Hulk could hit Time Spiral, I'd probably take that because that would be insane. I mean, right now we have Remand and Frantic Search that Gearhole can hit, which is really just not worth it. That's not good. Now, Sun Titan, on the other hand, that's a six guy, six mana guy that I'll take. Get back a True Name Nemesis or a Blade Splicer or, yeah, any, any of these cards is great. Yeah, Sun Titan's pretty good there. Balance. Ooh, a Sower of Temptation? Ooh. I do like a Sower of Temptation. It's also very good against the Show and Tell or Eureka decks. Probably not playing Augur Bolas. 
For the same reason we're not playing uh Gear Hulk. Could be balanced, but I feel like we're going to always have more creatures. I'm just going to take the Sower of Temptation. I do like a Faith Fetters. Hollowed Fountain's also very good. Sort of Light and Shadow could also be very good, too. Just get back all these guys that we have. I might just want the Hollowed Fountain, though, in case we hit a Fetch Land or... I do kind of want to have at least one sword, though. Yeah, we are going to open Ancestral in pack three, so that's probably worth considering. Is this a God Pharaoh's gift deck? I think it is sword, even though I really like Hollowed Fountain. Oh, that makes me so sad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So. Maybe Hollow Fountain comes back. There'll be two left, two cards left in that pack. Revelark gets back what? Soulfire Grandmaster, Blade Splicer, Silverblade Paladin, Sower of Temptation, and that's it. I think it's just Mother of Runes here. It's not Gush. It's not Spellskite. Three mana. Oh, Colonnade. Oh, Colonnade is a great pickup here. That was an easy choice. And the Armageddon comes back. Now we'll just take Armageddon. I don't care about Sword of War and Peace. Oh, Brimaz comes back too. Good lord. It's like everything I've ever wanted. And we had the Smokestack there. We still, it still could have been the Smokestack deck. This guy is just really annoying, right? Especially with a sword. I think Flickerwrist was probably better. Take the Wingmare. I mean, Flicker for Blade Splicer, Flicker for Sun Titan, Flicker for Frost Titan, Flicker for you name it. Silverblade Paladin, we can repair. We can blink Control Magic or Sower and steal something else. Vanguard seems pretty good. Like, it just seems very strong. Which is a weird thing to say. I never thought I'd say that about a 1 1 vampire. Oh, Angel of Invention. I'm going to take these guys out because they feel out of place. If I feel like we can get something going where they're useful, then we'll bring them back. But And we can, of course, put this in the sideboard as well. Oh, Mirror Crusader. Actually, very good. I might even like Mirror Crusader better than Brimaz, to be quite honest. Cryptic Command did not open Ancestral. Dang it. The sad days. I think we just take Cryptic Command. <laughs> Triple Red might be hard. I like that Westvale Abbey um, or, West, or Restoration Angel could table. Yeah, Cryptic is just such a good reach card. Oh, wow. Bribery is where you want to be. Okie dokie. Um, I like Moat, and I'm actually hoping it comes back. But I think we don't have enough flyers to really defend a Moat. Like, we would have to win with, like, these three creatures in order for Moat to be good. I'm going to take this Bribery, because, boy. Because, boy, that's why. 10 mana Ulamog and a channel in the same pack. That's gross. Where are the two drops in this format? Selfless Spirit? Is that what we're looking at? Azorius Signet would be amazing. Do I just take Selfless Spirit here? I like Archangel of Thune, like, a lot. But I really don't think we need another 5 drop. Ugh. That being said, this is a very good one. We didn't take the resto. I hope the resto tabled, but it didn't, so. Yeah, I'm actually going to take Selfless Spirit here. I just think we need more two drops. Hmm. Hmm. Search for his Kanta, also a two drop. So is Banishing Light. 
No, Banishing Light's not a two drop. <laughs> but good a good card is what I meant. Um God, I think it's just Sphinx's Revelation. This is an interesting pick. If this, this, or this comes back, I'll be I'll be really grateful. Right now I think it's just Sphinx as a relation. Like it's just the it's just the strongest card by far. I'm gonna take this sword of fire and ice. I don't think that pick is very close. <clears throat> Speaking of two drops, Thalia is a very, very good one. Yeah, we're just gonna take the Thalia here. That was really, that was really good. That was a nice little bonus. We can definitely cut some of these three drops. <laughs> Probably the Sword of Light and Shadow off the top of the bat. I think Fire and Ice is just better. I don't think we want two swords. Maybe we do, but I'd rather have creatures. Mirren Crusader might also be better than Silverblade Paladin. I think it's just... Parallax Wave is pretty good. Mother of Runes was like late pick, like really late pick. Put these guys here. Put you up there with the red. Ooh, Phantasmal Image. And an Opposition. Alright, you guys let me know if it's Phantasmal Image or Opposition. Do it now! Oh, Restoration Angel and Moat came back. I took I took the Phantasmal Image because I feel like we have a lot of four drops already. And uh, there's a lot of cards we would not mind copying, like a Baneslayer Angel or either of the Titans. Um, I feel like we could dis we don't really need Resto because we have Flicker Wisp. But I do feel like we want Moat because Moat is a pretty good sideboard card. Relic Order is actually great. It deals with... Uh, we don't have a way to do this. We don't have a way to deal with enchantments and artifacts. So I'm just going to take the Relic Order. Archangel of Thune comes back. I actually think Archangel of Thune is better than Angel of Invention. So I'm going to take that. Put the Angel of Invention in the sideboard. And now we have two cuts to make. Envious X, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Soul Tie Brood. You are great. Banishing Light came back. Every card we wanted came back. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Thanks, Toots. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. All right, so what are we cutting here? We need three cuts. Because this is definitely a 17 land deck. Sixteen creatures. We can definitely cut two of the creatures. Oh, and a recruiter. Wow, look at this sideboard. We can almost be mono white. I can't see us being mono white because we have cryptic true name and bribery. But we could definitely be mono white here. Armageddon, Parallax Wave, Angel. Student, other sword, get guys back. Like, this could be the deck, but our blue is too good, so. I think we can probably take out Flicker Wisp. 
I don't think it's that good. I don't think I care about frantic search either. So we need one card for this Sphinx's Revelation. Otherwise, this deck looks great. Decisions, decisions. This does look like a great deck, so we'll probably go 2-1. Yeah, agreed, agreed. I don't know, maybe Miri Angels will cut. Yeah, I think that's actually fine. Why? We're not playing Mo. We have three flyers in the deck. Baneslayer, Archangel... And, uh, Sower of Temptation. <laughs> like, oh, I guess Selfless Spirit, too. We have four flyers. Also, like, if they have flyers and we don't, or if they're trying to win without creatures, like, it just doesn't do anything. It's just a blank card. Alright, let's put some lands in this bat. Oh, 8-8, eight, eight, perfect. Nice and easy. Alright, let's do it. I'm excited. I like Remand because it's a perfect tempo card for this deck. We could have seven flyers, but that would require us playing really expensive cards. Like, I don't really care about Vryn, Vryn Wingmare or Flicker Wisp. I just want Thalia because she's a two drop, not because I like the ability though. I'm not like, oh, I need Thalia abilities because we have a ton of uh, non-creature cards like Control Magic, Bribery, Cryptic Command, Course of Portal. Like, you know what? I'm gonna keep this hand. <laughs> We're gonna top that crypt Cryptic Command, but as it stands, this hand is pretty good. Colonnade is also a flyer, you Mitch. Oh my god. Hmm. Mono three drops thought deck over here. Oh, uh, I don't think America Amiria is better than Sphinx's Revelation, but we're just gonna differ on opinions there. Alright, enjoy my vanishing light. Maybe we play Mirren Crusader now that we've seen infinite black from this guy. I wish it was an Urborg for blue. That'd be great. We could draw that. Island. Oof. Brutal. So this is going to deal four. This is going to attack for three, make a guy, and it's going to get blocked. So we're just going to play this guy. Revive Sol Silverblade Paladin with a Titan and then Slam Moat. Hmm. Seems good. I see. Soulfire Grand Masty. Well, Ashiok does go to one here, which is nice. If only we drew a sword. That would be great. We could shoot this guy. I am waiting for the cryptic command. Oh, well. Frost Titan. They've also exiled four lands. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Sneak attack. That's a little scary. That's a spicy meatball. Now we're talking. So, Ashiok, your face. And your face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Playing a bunch of dudes that they're gonna die right now when you play something crazy with sneak attack. Sneak attack song. What if they just don't have anything good with sneak attack? What if they have two things that are good? Oh god. I'll put Kozilek and Ulamog into play. Oh boy. Here we go. Nope, these aren't red. These aren't red manas. Oh, Snoogans. Give me one blue right now. Right now, please. Oh, God, come on. I didn't even do the math. I just threw them out there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You go to three. All right. Crack that jar. Oh, I see. Wait. Oh, yeah, okay, sure. I don't know if there's a creature that you can actually kill me with. Like, we would just sacrifice a bunch of crappy things right now, and then you'd lose that guy. Oh, and they go to one, two. <sighs> Brutal. Well, they can't crack their Scalding Tarn. Oh, what if they try to? That's the world I want to live in. If they show and though, they, they should show and tell. They can't. No, they can. They got one blue. Gut shot would be very uh, fitting. Okay, that that pick of Vermez on a motorcycle with a sidecar attached would be great. And you got this dude in the sidecar. That that would be. I'm, I'm okay with that. Tough choice, apparently. I mean, even if they Ulamog, we still have two draws left, so that's good. Kozilek is like an Eilid or four, I believe, so I would just go sack, 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 sack. No, they're probably finding the perfect out. Oh, we do have a Remand. That's pretty good. Yep. Here we go. I see. Oh, we have a remand. Oh, well, that's they're just going to put it into play, I bet. So. Kiki Jiki. Copy this guy, right? Sure. <laughs> oh, boy. How nice. Absolutely incredible. All right, we'll yield to that. I'm going to make them do it because we have uh, Sphinxes for two. So if they do it incorrectly. Always yield to that. Oh, we actually don't have Sphinxes for two. We have double blue. Never mind. Well, that's super annoying. I guess we could have left Ashiok at one and just ignored it. I don't know. The thing about Cube is that like I have five mana and seven cards in hand, so I could have pretty much anything right now, and um, they don't know. So I'm definitely going to let them go through it. Maybe they don't account for blockers. And Pestermite flies, so they can't really... Maybe they cracked the Scalding Tarn. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, so if we drew a moat here, you can see how it would be pretty useless because they're winning with Pestermites, so, and we would not be able to attack with any of our creatures. Which is exactly why we don't play a card like Moat in the main deck. <sighs> That's annoying. Moat allows only flying creatures to attack. Creatures without flying can't attack. I mean, we have a Leon and Relic Order. That's a white enchantment hate. Which is coming in. And Pestermite does indeed fly. I can see bringing in Parallax Wave, actually. That seems okay. And we also have Banishing Light. So we have a bunch of things. I'm going to take out Phantasmal Image. Sorry, did you think Moat did something different? This hand's rough, but um, there's a lot of lands. So I feel like we're gonna draw not lands. That's a that's a theory I have right now. Imperial seal. And we can cast everything in our hand. <laughs> it's like the two seven offsuit of Oh, cool. Whiff. Draw two drop. Thalia. Oh, we did it. Did it, boys. Oh, of course. I was thinking, like, instead of having uh, only Sneak Attack, I'm glad you have Mana Vault and Mox Emerald as well, because otherwise you'd just be playing a pretty mediocre deck. Get in there. Hmm. I see. Alright, what the heck. Pro Black. I mean, at worst, we're going to lose our Selfless Spirit to that block. So if we're planning on losing our Selfless Spirit anyway and they try to kill our Mother of Runes, we can just sack Selfless Spirit to give Mother of Runes indestructible. And then it's the same thing as if we lost this to the block anyway, so... Here comes Sneak Attack. Here comes Sneak Attack. Here comes... Oh, no, just something for 7 mana. Hmm, seems good. Oh, well, that's not a thing I want to exile for from the game. I guess we can just play uh, Baneslayer next turn and then have protection for it. And uh, not only does it have protection from dragons, but we also get uh, Mother of Runes protection. And then we can just play Frost Titan after that if we draw the cards. So. The old turn four, Dragon Lord of Tarka. Actually, that was turn three, right? Yeah, turn three, Dragon Lord of Tarka. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Island would have been nicer, but... It does have Trample, so we'd gain five and lose three.
Oh my god, Barbably Boo, that's actually hilarious. He started his track moving on TV and he watched your stream and goes, that's amazing. Oh man. That's the best thing I've ever heard. Upsetty Spaghetti. Oh man, they're ready. Here we go. Sometimes you just play in the queue and you're like, well, my opponent just got a better deck than me. They just got the Mana Vault, Mox Diamond, Sneak Attack, Mind Twist deck. And, um, you know, you're, there's nothing you can do at that point. You just have to be like, okay, cool. You, you just win. So we can attack. Let's just kill Duretti here. I don't need your Duretti shenanigans anymore. I mean, we take eight, we go to nine, but we have some pretty good protection here. We could have also put them down to ten and then attacked for nine next turn, but that doesn't really do what we want it to do, so. I mean, thankfully, they only have four land to work with, so. Cause a Tark comes round tonight. Here comes a Tark of the Dragon Lord. They're gonna do sneak attack. That's pretty good. I hope you don't have anything but some crap. Wow. Curb to command again, both with one island. That's pretty good. Five. We can deal you nine here. Presence of the mercy of whatever you sneak attack into play. I guess we're just going to do you four and uh, block whatever you have, I guess. Yep, here we go. Kiki Jiki, copy Dragon Lord of Tarka. Zealous Conscripts, that's pretty good. Pro Red, sure. This is where they kill our Bane Slayer and attack us for lethal. Yep. Oh, now you just have something else. Okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yep, that's pretty good. Can we stop that? Because of course you have all this. Why wouldn't you? 23. Uh, this guy doesn't have trample. 8, 9, 10, 11. We can survive, which is pretty good. block here we die if we block here 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 we still die so we have to block here phantasmal image celestial colonnade all right well that was a very unfun game one i did not have a good time which is sad because cube is a good time format yeah, we boarded out the Phantasmal Image, so we weren't going to see that guy anyway, but... Nice deck. Are we going to... Is it going to let me go to the next thing? Yeah, concede it. There you go. All right. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. 
Current match is pending. Well, wait a moment before attempting to join the queue. I was just trying to play my league match. Oh, there we go. Finally did it. All right. All right. Let's try it again. Got him. Got him that win. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's how it goes. Bargadugan. Who's Mike Bargadugan? Is that Mike Barbobliboo's brother? Why they have different last names, I don't know. Yeah, he literally needed Green Mox and Mana Vault. So he not only needed to draft both of those, he needed to draw both of those by turn three in order to uh, in order to play that turn three Dragon Lord of Tarka, which is pretty unbelievable. Two new rival spoils, did they leak or were they released? Because there's a difference. There's a big difference between leaked and released. Language is important. Wow, you just revealed Mike Barbobliboo's secret spy name on stream? That's pretty bad, Billy. I mean, that's some secret info, bro. Oh, that was a good draw. Yeah, like, I don't think anything is getting leaked in the next two weeks because that's just, like, spoiler season, preview season. Um, well, now he's dead. Yep, I guess it's gonna be so long, spy life. God, Billy, so insensitive. You need to keep people's spy names under wraps, man. That's not okay. Oh, how, how nice. More cheaty McCheaterson things. My bad, I've always been, I've always been, as, as, for as long as I've known, I've always been bad at, at keeping people's secret spy names secret. Make vampires or cats real? What are you saying right now, Sarah? What's going on? Oh, look, we got a swamp in the graveyard and four basic lands on board. Now, nope, here we go. Dragon Lord of Tarka again. It's a pitch to me in Spirit Guide. <laughs> oh, it's just an Inferno Titan. <laughs> I guess we get to steal that, though. That's pretty good. Ghosts? What's even going on right now? Where are you guys looking? Are you guys looking at, like, Mythic Spoiler? I'll toss him up on the old streamer. Oath of Druids. And a Duretti. Wow, all right, cool. Actually, I kind of like Oath of Druids because I, I got this control magic in hand, boy. We can also just Banishing Light and uh, get rid of the thing. That's pretty good. I feel like Alenda is going to get me confused with Alendra. I'm going to be like, Alendra? Glen Alendra? i got to make some videos after this about the spoilers. They're going to go up on YouTube. If you guys don't follow me on YouTube, do it. YouTube.com slash Frank Lepore. Super easy. <sighs> what do I care about most? Is there a situation where I'm scared of Oath of Druids? Maybe. And if they get like Gristlebrand, that's pretty terrifying. Bricktop's Pig Farm. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. You are awesome. 
All right, so we're looking at Glorious Destiny. And Glorious Destiny is... I'll pop this bad boy up here. Uh, three mana. If you control ten or... It's Ascend, so if you control ten or more permanents, you get the city's blessing for the rest of the game. As Glorious Destiny enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures of the chosen type get plus one, plus one. They have Vigilance as long as you have the city's blessing. Okay. So it's basically just an Anthem variation. That's pretty good. I mean, it's fine. Um, we can either Coercive Portal and start drawing cards and then just attack one of these dudes. Or we can Banish and Light one of them. I think we just get rid of the uh, Chandra. I don't like to brag about my Chinese. Um, I kind of like to be low-key about it. I'm going to let them keep the Oath of Druids and just assume that we'll be able to uh, control magic, whatever it is. So, you knock yourself out. They have two cards in hand, so ideally if this happens... No Woodfall Primus. Woodfall Primus is just the worst thing they can hit. Oh, baby, that's a good one. Billy, I had a feeling you were a pretty good secret keeper. I didn't want to. I didn't want to bring it up because I wasn't sure if you were sensitive about it. But uh, yeah, I, I felt like you would be a, a very trustworthy ally in the secret keeping business. <laughs> Here comes Kozilek right down Kozilek's way. I like having a path to exile just. For today, can I have this causal like butcher of truth? Put him into my board. I'm gonna attack with these two guys and kill your Doretti now. I'm gonna attack with both in case they have a way to kill this guy. I'd still rather start chipping away at Doretti spaghetti. All right, so we got rid of your Chandra, your Doretti, and your Kozilek. <laughs> All right, let's see what they've got now. I'm laughing at Mike Barbobbly Boo's secret spy identity. Oh my god, so many... Look at all these Eldrotsies. That's how uh, Brad Pitt says it in Inglorious Bastards. Eldrotsi. Gorlami. Gorlami. Here comes Toxic, Toxic Deluge for 12 and kill everything. Uh oh, something's happening. Rakdos is returned for three, huh? I'm just gonna lose my hand, kill this guy. Annihilate you for four, and then try to swing with this for 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This, this will be 20 exactly if we can hit a land, so. Oh, we didn't. That's unfortunate. I guess we're just going to have to be satisfied with killing four of your things and attacking for... 16, I guess. And we get to keep old Frosty in hand. Alright, let's see what it is now. The good thing is none of your things have haste. If it's like a, If this is a Woodfall Primus, then we're in bad shape. Okay, that's good. That's pretty good. I guess we could just colonnade. Once we hit a land, we can just colonnade their face. Which I lack. What up, K-Ferd? It's your boy, Christopher Ferderer. Chris, what were you what were you thinking in terms of your, your name change? Your um What did they just do? Burst lightning? Okay. In in terms of your stream name change. Oh, now I get to activate? Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Let's hit the thing. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one, too. All the good ones. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. All 
I guess this just gets blocked here. We'll just annihilate you. Yeah, if you liked it, then you should have put a Eldrazi on it. Now they have five guys, so like, we can even play one more thing and still not even have to worry about. Oh, they can sacrifice their little babies. They also have two cards in their deck. They have two cards in their deck. They've milled their entire deck. I mean, might as well play this because they're just gonna they're gonna oath anyway. So or they don't oath. They either oath or they don't oath. And toxic deluge can't kill us. Sweltering suns can't kill us. There's no three mana. All right, you have no deck now, and <laughs> you lose from your old upkeep. All right, well that was a good time. Okay, so you're playing a deck full of big, fat, ugly sun sons of biscuits. Good to know. Phantasmal Image is OP. Control Magic is OP. Sower of Temp Temptation is OP. Bribery is OP. Um, Parallax Wave, probably not that great. Moat could be very good. This is a deck where Moat probably shines. So I'm going to bring in Moat. And I'm going to bring in Relic Warder. I got the Blade Splicer. Uh, Mirror and Crusader is probably pretty good. They're Jund base. And we're going to bring in a Myria Angel. Take out Course of Portal. Bring in Flicker Wisp. We'll take out Brimaz. That seems good, right? I think that's enough. I don't care about Angel Invention. Like, I think the other two flyers are better, so. Angel Invention? Well, no, because we already have Moat. Or, or we already have uh, these two. We're not bringing in Geddon. God, what's wrong with you? This is, I don't even think this is a Geddon deck. Like, I just, they're, well, I don't know. I don't know if it is. Well, Sower of Temptation's good. I'm definitely more scared of I'm definitely more scared of sneak attack because haste obviously oh I do like a I do like a I do like a good Baron Geddon oh now I'm tempted to just keep this up but because they don't have any accelerants I can just play it next turn this is where they go, secret mox, sneak attack. And then I'm like, oh no. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that was great. That's a great draw. I like that you guys always ask me where Mike is. Like I, I like like when we're not hanging out, like I know where he is. Hey Mike, where are you, buddy? Here they go. They always have it. Oh, that ain't it at all. Whatever, that'll get remanded. That's a thing. Hmm. Well, isn't that special? So I guess we're just passing here. They can try to shoot us with Chandra, but then we just get to get to pro it, if you know what I mean. Yep, you got it. You got it. They're going to zero, right? Maybe? I don't know if they zero or not. Red. You got it. Well, this is awkward. Guess we'll attack Chandra here. Man, surprisingly having mana issues.
Alright, we'll just keep doing this. Here we go. Lightning strike? Oh no. Why would you do this? I am very tempted to path. I mean, considering I'm playing two sneak attack decks, um, definitely not as fun as I, I could be having, but this seems a little bit better for us, I guess. I'm pretty sure we just want Bane. They, we know they have Dreadbore in their deck. I'm just going to play Angel and drop a drop a planes here. They're going to shoot our birds. Hunter's dreaming in the background. Yeah, we're just going to keep doing this. Like there's no reason not to. Having my own creatures is the only way I feel alive anymore. Yep, I know the feeling, man. Really gives you that adrenaline rush. What's it gonna be? Oh god, you're doing something real scary. Five men in the pool. Six men in the pool. I like to add my mana slowly. <laughs> I like to let it build. Rakdos is returned for four. Oh my god. Sure. No, well, hope you don't have Burst Lightning as one of your last three cards. You don't. Okay. Well, let's get rid of that Chandra for good. I mean, it's hard to say. You can't. You can't determine whether it was a right play based on when it happened, or what or what happens afterwards. Like you can't be like, well, I drew this, this, and this, and they did this, so it wasn't the right play. Like you can only base it on the information you have at the time. I think it was fine at the time. We needed double white for three of the cards in our hand, two of the cards in our hand, so. Yep, couldn't couldn't save that from Mother of Runes anyway. Uh huh. Just gonna keep playing lands. So I have no reason not to right now. So. They have three cards. I don't think they. They're the two cards they had probably don't do much. Sure. That's probably game. No, it's not game anymore. That was a great draw. Oh, kill it with the with the trigger on the stack. I'll let it resolve. It's no longer game. Uh, okay, I'll choose a bird. That was just fine. Hey, that's actually very good with this much mana. Wow, that's great. Four mana, so we, we can cast anything for four or less um, and buy it back. I don't think we actually have that many spells, though, so that's... Yeah, that's fine. Ob obnoxious, but fine. Ha ha! Ha ha! 
Now we're talking. Now we have a game, ladies and gentle friends. Uh-oh. You got a... N oh, God. We, we no longer have a game, ladies and gentle friends. Well, that's sad. You got another thing coming. I have never played Shadowverse, but I don't really have any immediate plans to. You're going to kill the bird? Why wouldn't you wait till next turn to kill the Leon and Relic Order to get your Oath of Druids back? What? Or you can even kill the Mother of Runes because it can't give protection from artifacts. This is very strange. Ba boom 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 ba boom boom. Frost you down. Attack with all the creatures that I love. It's a song about creature love. What does that even mean? Nobody knows. It's just some random stuff that you're saying because it's 117 in the morning. Oh, we won that match. All right, we're having a good time. Having a good time. I'm pretty sure if they waited and killed this during my end step, the Lean and Relic Order, um, we probably couldn't win that match. All right, 0-2 and 2-0. Let's see if we can uh, close it out. I will play first. Yeah, this hand's good. I'll keep it. Also, if you guys haven't done so, feel free to subscribe uh, or follow. Both those things help me out a ton, and I really appreciate the follow or the subs. All right, all right. Hey, you're looking good. You oh the uh, the pro green guy seems very good against the the green deck. I also board in the second sword just to max some. That's fine. Looks like we're just playing standard here. We got the uh, the rich car and the selfless spirit. You got another thing coming. What is it? What's that other thing I've got coming? I also like the idea of stealing a rich car. That's pretty cool. This fine protection from green gentlemen. So they have one, two, three, four mana right now. This is where they play Guy's Cradle. Are you ready? Guy's Cradle, Black Lotus. Okay, just a Marsh Flats. Not a Guy's Cradle. Good to know. I don't see attacking in their future. Okay, I don't see anything in their future, I guess. Hmm, that's a good card. This might be a moat matchup. Real tempted to sower this Rish car. Get a 2 2 and a 3 3 on board. And we have Selfless Spirit to... Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Plus, if they didn't have anything on this turn that they don't... You know, if we steal a mana from them, they're not going to have anything next turn either, so... I mean, that's no guarantee, but that's... That's a... That's a safe assumption. And I can add green now, so... Like, how do you even lose when you add green mana to your mana pool? That fin Finhorn is living the best the best version the the he's to be in the best version of himself right now. Well now he can only tap for one, but he is a two two still, so Oh, the old uh add three green mana 
Let's go to the scoop phase. Seems like a good, solid strategy. All right. Okay, we're gonna do we're gonna do the moat plan again. I'm sure Sarah's thrilled with that. Take out the portal. Take out the we'll take out the frost titan for for uh, for angel of invention here, I guess. We'll take out the brimaz and the blade splicer for flicker wisp and Vryn wing mare. And that was it, right? Other sword. We are in round three, Nick. Nickarino. Old Nicky Nicky Two Shoes, as as the kids used to call you. And oh, Amiria Angel. That's the other ad. Right. You're right. 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 We gotta take out one more thing though. What do we take out? Probably Thalia. I own many shoes. I'm a man of many shoes. That's what they say. Yep, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Guys, we can blink our selfless spirit. What more do you want? I did notice you did not say Geddon. This did not go unnoticed. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Tap two, Birds of Paradise. Do I just want to keep up mana? Do I just want to keep up a man? Probably not. No way. The, the the storm decks are great if you can get them. Here comes Garrick, and we're going to feel real bad. They always have Garrick. Oh, just Awakening Zone. That's fine. That's just a little thing. We only have three cards in hand. Sure. Hmm. That's a dude. Now we're just remanding. I remand you to the Phantom Zone. I don't think that's how that works. Sure. I don't care about any of these things, I'll be honest with you. I'll untap my forest. You gonna attack with this Arbor Elf? No, you're not going to attack with the Arbor Elf. All right, sounds good. D -d 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 Deal. I'm still going to just keep Remand up here. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. That's pretty good. They didn't cast anything this turn when they have one, two, three, four, five. And instead of Wall of Roots, they could have one, two, three, four, five, six. So, they could add more with the art with the one, two, three. Now, now they can. Now they can go one, two, three, four. They can add four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Uh, if we drew an island, what would we'd have no reason to sow or anything? There's nothing good. I mean, we we if we, there was something good enough to sow, we would just phantasmal image it. Um, that's very good, but I can't counter that so. I will hope that I... Oh, actually, we have a land. We can Banishing Light there, Sylvan Library. What? <laughs> I was like, wait, what? What are you doing here? I Yeah, see, it's funny because I mentioned the Josh Brolin thing when it first happened. I was like, you can't play both Cable and Thanos. And then they were like, it's okay, man. They're two different universes. And I'm like, okay, you're right, but we'll see. And uh, why did they sack a dude? I don't know what's going on anymore. Our opponent might be drunk. No offense, Lynx three four five. I uh, just 
I'm a little confused as to your decisions. I would like a second blue, though. Follow up. Chris, let me ask you something. When you say things like that, do you have them queued up and planned? Because how would you even consider Dunstan checks in? Why does this randomly pop into your head right now? It makes me think you're like, hey, all right, let me figure out a good 21st century Fox Disney joke. All right, here we go. Something broken is happening. No one loves Dunstan Checks In. They might enjoy it. I don't know if anyone loves it, though. I'm afraid of what's happening here. Oh, my goodness. All right. You can just recast that. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, I think anyone who watches my stream should just watch it drunk right like that's just a better choice than not watching it drunk I guess what is happening right now what if they cast they're going to cast an Emrakul oh blah oh they're at 10 so they can't actually recast this put it in your hand my friend I mean they can wreck us pretty bad unfortunately they can make us sack our selfless spirit they can end up pathing one of their own things I guess I don't know oh we got an island though that's pretty good so they have one card in hand it's an emerical that's pretty good they can also cast sower of temptation oh they can no they can't do both alright that's good they can cast phantasmal image and then flicker wisp it it's pretty bad I do live in California on the first, after all. What does that mean, on the first? Is that like Old English? I live in California on the first, my friend. <laughs> on the second. Oh, are they going to blink Banishing Light and then make it... Yeah, that's good, too. Well, I'm not thrilled with the way this is working out, but... Yep. Yippoo. I guess we could have a drunker sober pull to see where everyone's out. I'm I'd be I'd be curious. Oh look, I failed to find. How fascinating. Yep, look, I lost everything. I lost the path, a selfless spirit, and a banishing light. It's gonna come back. Oh, I guess it has to target one of your things though. That's pretty good. And you didn't play my land. You didn't Phantasmal Image for something. That's good. All, all this is great. So you're going to lose something. That's pretty cool. Alright. That guy seems better than Wall of Roots. Oh, actually that's fine. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana. Hmm. Hmm. So I guess we're just going Angel here. I guess we're making it a 4-3. And then we'll just do this. So they have Emrakul and one other card in hand. They also get to... Sylvan Li Librario. I don't know who Mike Trout is. I thought weed was already legal in California. So Emrakul costs you 11, right? Okay. Sure. Hmm. 
Yep. That's obnoxious. I guess we kill it with Celestial Colonnade, though. That seems good. But then Emrakul costs 10, and then you have enough for Emrakul. Oh, my God. I have three ways to control things in my hand. <laughs> one, two... One, two, they have four green sources. They can actually go one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, we still have to get rid of Karn, so whatever. I don't actually want to play this land because if we draw another land, they could waste both of these. We really just want to steal their Emrakul once they play it and have a guaranteed way to do that. Oh, good. That's brutal. Three card types. Emrakul cost 10. Done. Maybe they won't realize it. Maybe they'll forget. And then we can go kill you. <laughs> Don't you have to answer with... Do you have to answer with an exclamation mark or can you just enter those the text? Take eight. Here we go. Here comes old Emrakle. We could have snagged the birds, but then they still have a Karn in play, so, I mean, doesn't seem great. Okay, so most are sober. Oh, Tooth and Nail instead. How nice. That was one of your top two. Well, you're just going to... Oh, you searched for two. Oh, you did both. I see. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Okay. That's actually just fine. We can make, like, three guys. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. Oh. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. So the problem is when we make a Phantasmal image, they can always target it with the other one of these. And we still have to steal this guy. Yeah, we're just going to Phantasmal Image. If they want a Sower of Temptation target Phantasmal Image, that's fine. Oh, they kind of have to. So that's going to be their play, but it still leaves us with a 12-12 and a Sower of Temptation. Or uh, not a Sower of Temptation, rather. A 12-12 uh, Indestructible Infecting Lifelinker. Not Lifelinker. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Death tr Infector. Infecting Instructable Trample. That's all I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying right now. So you know they still have Emrakul in hand. Because you can't really put the Emrakul back, I don't think. That's not how that works. 
I mean, Emrakul has flying, so it's not like Moat is going to do anything about Emrakul. Emrakul just makes it so Moat just makes it so that only their Emrakul can attack us, which is pretty rough. I mean, they're going to take our turn and play our Sword of Temptation, targeting our Blightsteel Colossus, presumably. Yeah, they've had Emrakul mana for a while. They only need ten. There's three cards, so they need ten mana. This makes five by itself. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They have uh, two more than they need, so. Looks like three more than they need. Yep. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Yep. Another island. Oh, they can actually play the moat now, which is kind of funny. They can go moat and Sower of Temptation. That's pretty busted. Yep. Oh my god, wait. Oh my god, they missed it. I guess it doesn't matter if they play Moat, but... We're still at 20. Oh, that's great for us. Yep. That's pretty sad. Well, well at least we get a turn, I guess. Uh, gross. Sphinx's Revelation one time? Islands. I mean, they can attack us for 13, then we can attack for 12 or 6. That's pretty good. If we can Flicker Wisp, uh, Flicker Wisp is good. Leon and Relic Warder is good. If we put that in, I don't think we did. Yeah, nothing good. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about that. Oh, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. You and your moat theories. A fine mess you've gotten us into. Mm -hmm. So this is going to flip, which is fine. They hit this guy. They Those are gone. Alright, so all these cards are just bad. But, I mean, Emrakul does deal us... Why do you have trample? I don't know. That's just how it works. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm loving it. Going to six life. Seems good. <sighs> sure. Super annoying. We could have blocked six of this. We'd still die. Mirror Crusader does nothing. Yeah, I don't care about the moat. Moat's, moat's leaving. <laughs> moat seems terrible bad there. All right. Leon and Relic Warder will come in, however. Oh, that was so bad. Frost Titan seems much better than whatever whatever we brought in for it. Uh, I like Course of Portal better than Amiria. Oh, if we're in, actually, Amiria is probably better than... Eh, Brumaz is probably better than the other thing. Flicker Wisp can come out. And we'll bring in Amiria. So, hoping they don't draw Emrakul, I think we're good. Oh, hand is great. Hand is great. Hand is great. Hand is great. <laughs> Saw bribery. Bribery and remand. Hand is great. Yeah, 
yeah, don't care about that guy. Never gonna give moat up. Uh, hand is actually great in BSX. How did you know? I guess you didn't know because you asked. <laughs> All right, cool signet, bro. <laughs> I'll take one. Aggressive, aggressive. All right, so as long as we can hit a land, I think we're in good shape, Arena. I don't know what we're doing here. We're just going to remand here. This is game three. We won the first game, remember? We actually crushed them with Mirror Crusader. Never going to give you up. Here comes, another, here comes a sneak attack. Oh, I forgot I don't have red for my sneak attack. We're doing the mana shuffle over here. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about that. Oh, God. Really? Really? Cool. Get stuck on three lands with bribery in hand. Very aggressive. <laughs> Oh, man, good times. That's a little Teddy KGB right there. Seriously? Of course they have Emrakul in their hand. Watch. You ready? If it's Blightsteel, that's fine, I guess. I don't know. Seven, eight. Oh, I think it's blight steel. I think it's blight steel. Oh, I think it's blight steel. It's not. It's never blight steel. Well, again, they can't play it a second time because then they'll die. So we did hit the we hit, we hit the land. So they can't do anything actually unless they want to. Uh, Pro green. So I doubt they're going to play this. They're probably just going to run our mother into their... Oh, their Death Rite Shaman's tapped. That's weird. They should have left their Death Rite Shaman untapped. Because now they... Can't kill our mother of runes. Well, we hit lands. So that's good. We get to serve Temptation something. And then they can't play Emrakul immediately. That's pretty good. There's nothing they can really do that's scary here. Sword of Temptation taking anything is... Yeah, Sphinx for zero is probably what they're doing. I mean, they channeled, paid like nine life, and Emrakul to Sphinx for zero. Sure. That is fine. That was one of the least oppressive Emrakuls. I might actually just steal this just to keep them off some mana. Yeah, just gonna. There's no reason to deal the one point here. Maybe there. Maybe there will be. Watch. We're just gonna bribery and get a uh, Blightsteel Colossus, unless it's of course in their hand. Man, remanding Emrakul is OP. And if we can, oh, actually, we don't even need to land. We can, uh, we can Sun Titan next turn if we if we need to. I don't see why we need to. There's nothing in our graveyard, but it's still six six vigilance. What is even happening, guys? What is even happening? Whatever. Let's see what we got. It's never not bribery here. 
Oh my god, their deck is... They have nothing. So they have Blight Steel. Oh, they don't have... They have nothing. What do they have? I'm gonna screenshot this bad boy. I mean, it's 100% Blight Steel. Whether it can attack or not. Or it could be Noble Hierarch. We could just take Noble Hierarch and increase our clock by a point. I mean, next turn we're just playing Baneslayer Angel, so I don't think it matters. We're gonna Blight Steel. How could they have killed the wall? You can only activate it once per turn. Sarah, I don't think you know what bribery does. <laughs> oh, man. This just puts you on a two-turn clock, so... We don't know what's in your hand, but we also don't care because we have Mother of Runes and you're playing a mostly green deck. Go to three. Seems good. Never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna give, never gonna give. Hmm. Five mana, huh? What's it gonna be? Looks like an X spell. Oh, Genesis Wave for two. A classic. That'll do, pig. That'll do. This is game three. Ah, oh. Good games, good games. All right, that was sweet. If you guys are watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And feel free to press those like and subscribe buttons. Both of those things help me out a ton. And I'll see you next time.